Hi everyone! So today I'm doing a video which I've wanted to do for a while. I always say that, but this I posted a video probably last year or a couple of years ago, I don't really know how long ago it was, but it was talking about A-level photography and that has loads of views on it and loads of people have commented on it and saying how they're nervous and how they are scared for doing the subject or that they don't know a lot about photography and I thought I'd do another video talking about that because someone did actually suggest it. It's actually requested by someone called Riley Smith that I did another one and I was going to do another one anyway but I didn't know what information to include but I have wrote down, it's quite a lot, but I wrote down little things that might help you and I will just get started with it. To begin with I just want to point out uh, um, the structure has now changed in A-level photography. Instead of doing like four units, I think you only do two and obviously I think you do different work in them. I don't know to what extent but it's different to when I did photography. So I have four units of work and um, we did them all on all different subjects. So it is a little bit different so I can't talk to you about the structure but I could talk to you about feeling nervous and ways to help you and just bits like that. The first one that kind of came up a lot was the idea of lack of knowledge and I'm gonna bring, like, say it, I still don't really know how to use a camera that well. You should get taught the basics, like we did get taught exposures and stuff and if you want to do studio photography or if you want to do lighting I'm sure your teachers will help you and make sure you know the basics. I had no idea when I went into it. I had my own camera, which is the one I'm filming on. I took it in, just, I mostly just experimented. They did tell us um, the basics and stuff. And for the lighting, again, as I said, you will be taught it. We did get taught a little bit, but I didn't really want to focus on studio photography. I did other type of photography, so I didn't focus on it loads. So you do get taught it and even if you are really really worried, there are so many YouTube videos, my mum um, watches these videos of this man who does a video on every single kind of camera there is, you can go to like classes if you really wanted to, you can experiment yourself, go to Jessup, Jessups do like um, one day courses, if you're really that worried you can do other things, get books watch videos, anything, but I don't think that should be a very big thing that people worry about because most of the people in my class had no idea how to use a camera anyway, um, it was only like a couple of people who knew how to properly. So for me, when I say I don't really know, no, I mostly did creative photos, so um, you know, they were multimedia and they didn't solely re like rely on the sharpness of the photo, things like that. I did know how to change exposures and I did change the exposures on the images but for me getting an absolutely perfect original photo was not the big deal for me. I kind of added to my images and for one of my uh, topics what I did to it kind of destroyed the image so for me it wasn't like a major deal but you do get taught it and you get taught um, different things like we did like the third something grid it's like you split it into nine boxes and like the focal point should be in a certain place or something like that I can't fully remember as you can tell so here are some of my tips if you're feeling nervous about doing photography now these are basically kind of tips that will help you cope that sounds really bad, but you know, how to make sure you're alright throughout the year <laughs> and just so you're good with the work and stuff, if that makes any sense. So number one is be organised from the start. Um, so never leave your shoots to the last minute, always stick in your images as you go, um, always annotate as you go, even though I didn't always. I did try and do bits and then I went back onto it, if you know what I mean. And just keep on top of everything because that will make you feel so much better and if you just do some every single night 
and you won't have to worry when it's the deadlines because you'll be able to hand it all in and be all hunky dory and it'll be fine. Especially if you're doing multiple art subjects, like people in my photography were doing art and fashion and stuff like that, so all their deadlines are on one day. So especially if you're doing multiple, really be organised so you're not stressing out and kind of creating sloppy work. Number two is pick a topic you enjoy. When I say about this, I mean for the units. One of the differences though, we got, we had four units, so I could choose four different things. So, but, so I don't know how different it is for now, but I chose three multimedia topics, and it may take you a while to realise what you enjoy, but once you find out, um, then you can experiment with different topics within it. So for multimedia I did sewing, burning, bleaching, photoshop, everything like that. If you really want to try and find out beforehand, maybe do some shoots before you start the college, you know, in the summer, or you might already know to begin with, but just look at images for research and really try and find out what you enjoy. Like there was a boy at my school who enjoyed like nature photography and animal photography, and he always just took photos of his birds and, you know, things like that. There's another person who loved doing fashion photography, so she always did studio shoots and just things like that. So if you find out what you enjoy, then just stick with it and you'll enjoy it a lot more because, you know, you're doing a topic that you like um, and it'll just make you more passionate about it and all that. Bang. Number three is be, um, be accepting to change and experimentations and suggestions. So we had multiple presentations and like talks of the group where they gave us feedback and we were expected to take them on. Um, and also if like an idea that you really enjoy is not working out, you have to be like ready to change that idea and do something different if it's not, you know, making you move on with your project. So even though it is really annoying it might lead you to other stuff, so be accepting to change. So in these kind of creative subjects you always get like really stressful days or days where nothing really works. Like for my unit 4 I had, when it was like the deadline and I was making the final piece, it was going so bad and it was just crap, but you just have to take the bad bits in your stride and just carry on. Like I've had a few ones where my photos haven't even developed that well from a film camera um, we had one where someone developed my film and it, it needed a very sp specific chemical thing and she would use mine. She basically kind of destroyed all my photos, which was kind of annoying. And sometimes you just have shoots that don't work out, but you just have to take it in your stride, calm yourself down and carry on. So, so my last video that I did on this, I hadn't got my A-level result back. So I thought I would just tell you, so I got an overall A, um, and for my individual individual units I think I got two A's and two B's, I think, I can't fully remember. Um, but I'm just going to tell you what you kind of need to get a grade, because if you look at my work it wasn't amazing photography. Like you know when you see some photos you think, whoa that is so beautiful, like, that is amazing. Mine were more like, wow that's cool, or that's kind of weird. But, so my work was a bit weird. So you wouldn't necessarily think that's amazing photography, but what you really need to do is make sure you really experiment with different techniques. Um, you know, do a film shoot, uh, use scanography, uh, do some creative like overlapping or photoshop, have evidence for that, like screenshots, just show us a technique, don't just do one thing, don't just take a photo on your camera all the time, mix it up a bit, uh, use techniques that you've used in lessons like pinhole photography or something like that, because um, the more you show the more like, the more the uh, examiners are like ooh cool yeah that's cool, so do that <laughs> And do as many shoots as frequently as you can, even though I didn't do loads of shoots. I tried to do loads of shoots. Um, and they don't even have to be perfect. Like, I had some shoots and I was experimenting. They don't even have to be amazing shoots all the time. Uh, you just have to show progress and say why you did the shoot. So I have a few ones which are just weird, but they add to my book and they show where I was going. <laughs> and yeah, as I said before, 
annotate, show if you want to really highlight something then like you know draw a box around it or just really annotate it and so the examiners know and they can read your ideas because if it's a bit confusing work then you more than likely want to have some annotations so they can read it and go oh yeah I now see so yeah that is everything I think I've rushed through that or unless it just went by really quickly so I hope that kind of helps people out there who were feeling nervous um I feel like I've forgotten something um if I have I might do another video on it and if you have any more questions or anything just feel free to ask me on here or on Instagram or, or Twitter or anything I don't really mind um because yeah I want to see if I can help any of you lot and hopefully this video has I might have just been repeating of what I said before um in my other video but hopefully I haven't so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my one next week bye everyone